Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve question number three of International Advanced Level S1, January 2021. Question is the weights of packages that arrive at a factory are normally distributed with a mean of 18 kg and a standard deviation of 5.4 kg. So first, let's suppose if I say W is the weight of the packages and it's given these packages are normally distributed so i can say w is normally distributed with a mean of 18 as mean is given in this question as 18 and a standard deviation of 5.4 kg so 5.4 square find the probability that a randomly selected package weighs less than 10 kg now normal distribution we can show in form of a bell curve if i will draw the bell curve it will look like this one which is normally distributed curve whose mean is given this is mean 18 kg with a standard deviation of 5.4 kg so we have to find the probability that a randomly selected package weighs less than 10 kg. So probability that a randomly selected package weighs less than 10 kg, suppose if this is 10 kg, so we have to find the probability of this one. We know that in normal distribution curve, in the bell curve, the total area under the curve is one. The total probability is one for under the curve. So we have to find the probability of weight less than 10. So first this I will convert into a Z value. Now for Z value, we know that if I have probability, uh, I mean if for any value X, Z we can write equal to X minus mean, which is represented by mu over standard deviation sigma. So if this probability of uh, W less than 10, I have to change it to Z value. So right now our X in this case is 10. So I can write it probability of Z less than 10 minus mean. Mean is given in the question is 18 kg divided by standard deviation which is 5.4 because this is our normally distributed function that is with a mean of 18 and standard deviation of 5.4 so if i will calculate it will be probability of z less than this 10 minus eighteen divided by 5.4 is minus 1.481. Now for the, to change this negative value into positive, I can write it 1 minus probability of z less than 1.481. Now to find this value, we need to consult with Z table. And I have to find the value for Z less than 1.481. So what I need to do is, I will look for, if I, it's better if I round this to three significant figure, it will be one minus probability of Z less than 1.48. Now what I will do, I will consult this table, which is standard normal distribution table. I need to look for 1.4 as I'm looking for the value of uh, Z less than. So this table is giving the score for a Z score for uh, to the left side of this table. So what I will do, I have to look for 1.4 in th this column gives the values for Z values and uh, as I am looking for 1.48. So 
So what I need to do is I will look 1.4 and 0.08 column. So coming in front of this one, this is the value of Z less than 1.48. That is 0 0.9306. If I will round to four significant, so it will become 0 0.9306. That will give me this value. So let's put this value, which is 1 minus 0 0.9306. So now it will become 1 minus 0 0.9306. This will be 0 0.0694. Now for part B, let's have a look what is part B. It's the heaviest 15% of the packages are moved around the factory by Jemima using a forklift truck. Find the weight in kg of the lightest of these packages that Jemima will move. So let's draw the bell curve. Let's suppose this is our bell curve here. And the question is saying the heaviest from we, we know that it has a mean of 18. The heaviest 15% are moved by Jemima. So if let's suppose these are the heaviest packages. So on this side it means the probability if 15% are moved by the Jemima. So the probability on this side for this region it will be 0 0.15 because the heaviest 15%. So if I will write the probability of the 15% is 0 0.15. So remaining, which are not moved by Jemima, they have the probability of 0 0.85. So we have to find uh, the weight in kg of the lightest of these packages that Jemima will move. So let's suppose uh, the weight of the lightest package that Jemima can move is x. So I can write if I need to find this value. So if I will write it, probability of W less than X. If you look at this bell curve, for the values less than X, the probability is, we know is 0 0.85. So I can write it 0 0.85. Now this one I will change to Z score. If I will change it to Z score, so we know that Z score is always equal to X minus mean over standard deviation sigma. So it will become probability of Z less than X minus mean is 18 over 5.4 is the standard deviation. It is given 0 0.85. No, it means I, I have to look for a value from the Z table whose value, that value of Z, I have to find that value of Z which give me a probability of 0 0.85. So let's move to this standard normal distribution table for the values of Z. Now, which, where is, we, we are looking for a 0 0.85. So where is 0 0.85? If I look, here is 0 0.85. So for what value of red, the probability is 0 0.85. It's, if I will see it is in front of, let's have a look at, this is 0 0.85. It's in front of one and in column 0 0.4. So it means I can say it's 1.04. So using this one, if I will write it, it means uh, for one point, this, this whole part, this x minus 18 over 5.4 is equal to 1.04. So from here I can get the value of x. It will be x minus 18 equal to 1.04 times 5.4. And if I need x, it will be 1.04 time 5.4 plus 18. 
from here I can get x equal just calculate it 1.04 times 5.4 plus 18 that makes 23.616 It means 23.616 kg is the lightest weight that Jemima can move. For part C, let's read first part C. What is part C? One of the packages not moved by Jemima is selected at random. Now the package we have to select from those which are not moved by Jemima. And then we need to find the probability that it weighs more than 18 kg. So let's make once again bell curve. This is bell curve. Now we are selecting from the packages that are not moved by Jemima. Here is mean 18. And we know that the lightest package that Jemima can move is 23.616 kg. We found it in the last part in part B and the probability on this side is 0 0.15 and the probability on this side is 0 0.85. And we also know the fact about the bell curve that from the mean on this side the probability will be 0 0.5 and on this side the probability is 0 0.5. So now we have to find the probability that it weighs more than 18 kg and it is not moved by Jemima. It means it will be in this area. It's more than 18 kg and not moved by Jemima. We know on this side, whatever will be is not moved by Jemima. I can say not moved by Jemima. So, it's not moved by Jemima and is more than 18, so we have to find the probability for this area. I mean, it's given that we must have to select from this one. So it will be conditional probability. We will use the rule for conditional probability here. So I can write, it's given that, if I will uh, take in that sense, so it means we need to find given that it should be less than 23 points probability should be less than and the weight should be sorry w less than 23.616 and it should be greater than 18 I mean probability the weight should be greater than 18 and intersection less than 23.616. All right. Now, this probability we know already. We know that less than 23.616 is 0 0.85. Now, for greater than 18, if I will convert, first I will convert it into Z value. Or even no need to convert into Z value. Directly I can, I know that this will be, this area will be this total 0 0.85 minus, if it is greater than, and it's less than 23.616. It's, it's less than 23.6. So I will minus from this one. This value 0 0.5 over we already know the probability of this one is 0 0.85 so from here it will become now if I'll calculate 0 0.85 minus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.85 so it will be 7 over 17 or I can write 0 0.4117 that I can go on to 0 0.412. Let's move now to part D. Part D is 
A delivery of four packages is made to the factory. The weights of the packages are independent. Find the probability that exactly two of them will be moved by Jemima. Now we know the fact already that the probability that Jemima can move the packages is 0 0.15 and the probability that Jemima cannot move the packages is 0 0.85. Now according to the question it is there are four packages we have to find the probability that exactly two of them will be moved by Jemima. So first I need to find the number of ways that this can be done. Let's suppose these are the four packages A, B, C, D. So out of four, two who can be moved by Jemima. So I can write it four combination two. Out of four, two can be moved by Jemima. So first that will give me the number of ways the packages can move. That will be four factorial over for NCR formula we will use here for uh, 2 factorial into 4 minus 2 factorial. So if I will calculate this one, it will give me as 4 factorial, sorry, it's 4 factorial divided by this 2 factorial into 2 factorial will be 4. Also, that will be, oh, sorry, it's giving a math error. Uh, if I will directly calculate 4 factorial, 4 factorial is 24, 24 divided by 2 factorial is 2, 2 into 2, 4. So that will be 6 ways. So there are 6 ways by which Jemima can move these packages. So now the I, I have to uh, find the probability that exactly two of them will be moved by Jemima. So that probability will be, probability in that case is going to be six ways into 0 0.15 when she can move. Again, if she can move by two ways, cannot move is 0 0.85 into 0 0.85. So let's calculate this one. It will be six into 0 0.15 square times 0 0.85 square. So the probability is 0 0.0975. That is end of this question.